Hi everyone, welcome back to training time. Today I'm doing club stories. In the comments, someone requested club horror stories and then I'm pretty sure someone else requested just, you know, a training time about clubs in general. I can't find the comment. I posted a story on my Instagram that said, submit a good, bad, funny, or any kind of story of club experiences that you have, and most of these stories are bad, actually, so I think the comment that said club horror stories, that may be it. I made this new outfit just for Eeyore because we're training Eeyore. I have not done a training time with a thoroughbred. I thought I would start off with this. Flower Girls was disbanded for two days, and then it came back, so fun times. Yeah, I'm in this club called Flower Girls, and they were kind of weird, not going to lie. Yeah, I I see what you mean. Some, oh, cakey. I'm not reading this, girlfriend. <laughs> I'm not reading this. I got invited to a club, seemed normal until I found out the owner of the club was actually someone I knew in real life. I panicked and left and I still don't know if they knew it was me. That's funny because actually I've been in clubs on this game with people that I knew in real life. It actually was a little awkward and sometimes we would talk about the club in real life. Oh gosh, oh, oh, oh my, you're, what is happening? Once I joined a club and they said for me to properly join, I had to be sacrificed to a fire. Yeah, I never went back. Oh, okay. <laughs> that sounds interesting. I had a chat ban once and I tried to tell the owner by rearing, but she thought I was annoying so she kicked me out. That's actually really sad. You know, I wish when someone was chat banned, there would be some kind of message on top of them or something that's like, I don't know how that would work, but some kind of way to let everybody know that they're chat banned. Maybe the chat ban person could do slash chat ban so then people would know and the other people don't think they're getting ignored. One time my club pulled an all-nighter, then the owner said she heard something. So she went downstairs to check, and she never came back. You know, maybe she just fell asleep. I would have done the same thing. I was the owner of a club. One of the members left the- Oh my god. <gasps> Why did I just fly? Jesus, <gasps> what the frick is going on? One of the members left the club and said, Why did you kick me out? I said, I didn't. After that, she ignored me and unfriended me. I was so confused. I would have been confused too. I've actually heard when people want to leave a club and they don't want to tell the owner that they don't like the club, they'll just leave and then when the owner asks like what happened, they'll just say, oh like I, I just logged on and I wasn't in the club, like I think I got kicked out. They'll use that as their excuse if they really don't want to be in it. I mean still, it's better to be honest and say, oh, it just wasn't the right fit for me. But I mean, what? Are you kidding me? I just failed. I used to be in a club called Elite Woods. I was in that club for about five months. I left because my ex-girlfriend joined. Whoops. Oh, that would be awkward. You'd think that the owner would not let your ex in. From my experience, if someone's about to join, the members know about it, and if they're not okay with the person, they have a chance to say that they're not. But then again, like, every club works different. You know, maybe you didn't want to tell the owner. Maybe you guys were a secret or something. So one time I joined this club, and it seemed like a really good club and stuff, and everyone liked each other, and there was no drama and stuff. Then one day, while the club leader was offline, and me and the club were training, and everyone just started saying that they hate the club, and the club leader was a child predator, I was so confused, I immediately logged off and unfriended all of them, moved servers, and never saw them again. Oh my god, I just failed this mission. Hopefully, they reported whatever was going on. What I'm really confused about though is, why were they still in the club if they were saying that they hated it? I made a club a long time ago, and a girl told me she didn't like the outfit, so I kicked her out. For some people, the club uniform or whatever their signature outfit, it's a big part of who they are, so I get that. 
Then again, though, the outfit's not everything. Okay, so I was in two club, I think they mean a club, and I would always play the boy to the point where the club actually thought I was a boy. So after a while, I had gone out with half the club, and I only told them I was a girl a day before I left the club, and I'm still going out with the club owner two years later. So, <laughs> ooh, that's wild just watch out and be careful on the internet that's all i have to say one time i joined a club then one week later the owner asked me to do the dirty with her i left the club well good as you should i mean there's times where it's clearly a joke and they're just messing around but then again there's actually weird people out there and you need to be careful one time i joined a club and the first thing someone said was hi we eat dogs and cats i left and got an invite again what the heck i'm sure they were just joking but that's a weird thing to say like right when someone joins like that's that's a good way to scare people off once i joined a club that said you needed discord so i got discord and when i went on the voice chat i heard a bunch of not so child friendly noises and quickly realized that this was a role-playing club. It depends on the type of role people are doing. If they're just doing a, oh, we're gonna have summer camp. But if it's like a romance role, or if they say girlfriend, boyfriend role, yeah, I would walk away, actually run away. So me and my sister just bought a horse, and then we join a club, and she says, you need it, an Andalusian to be in this club. And we were like, um, we just bought this Lusitano and now we don't have star coins for that horse. Then, oh, sparkles. <laughs> then she said, you have one week to get your mom to buy star coins. So we left the club and she was saying, OMG, don't leave. And we ran away. If people are going to have required horses in their club and required outfits, they better be giving you plenty of time to sort that out and the thing is when you join a club and you don't really know the club what if you don't end up wanting to be in that club later on and you buy all the stuff for the club i've heard this so many times like people buy the club outfit and they spend their star coins on stuff that they wouldn't actually want or use my club's co-owner wants to turn the club emo i hope you guys have fun once we had a drama in our club because someone called another club member a cheeseburger. That's actually a compliment because cheeseburgers are so good that, you know, you're just calling someone delicious. <coughs> oh my god. I sometimes club hop and I have been in six clubs in the last month because I was bored. Oops. That seems like a lot that's more than one club a week <laughs> but then again if a club doesn't fit for you if it doesn't work out then it doesn't work out so better not to waste your time in a club where you don't like it but then again like is a week really long enough to like give a club a chance i guess some people are the kind of people who just want to try something new all the time my club often stays up till 3 a.m and i wake up to 100 plus messages sometimes at least one person's getting sleep. My club simps for Idris and Evergrey, and I just go along with it. Oh, I would go along with Evergrey, but not Idris. I was in a club that had a very odd obsession with toes. Another person, who I'm pretty sure is from the same club, said, Once almost our entire club got chat banned for saying, Can I eat your toes? Either there's a lot of clubs who have an obsession with toes, or they're in the same club. I used to spy on my old club and make fun of them because they were really bad. I'm assuming you were in a dressage club then, you know, because I can see if you were to leave a dressage club and then wanted to check on their routines and stuff so you'd stalk them. I can see that. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Tan looks different. Oh my gosh. She- the art style is, like, different. And Loretta? What is going on with the characters? Once I was in a club, and they said, If you leave, we will report you. I left the club. If they're reporting people for no reason, that basically wastes the staff's time. I was in a club where you can't swear. 
One time I said fuck and got thrown out. Okay, that would be me because I don't have a good filter with cussing. <laughs> I try to keep it under control, but it just comes out sometimes. So yeah, I actually have a bad mouth. I was in a club once where another friend of mine and me pretended to be old grannies doing the paperwork of the club. That's actually so wholesome and nice. One, oh my, oh my, oh, oh, geez. Once when I was younger, I was put into a French club and I had no idea about it. You could have been on Maple Star, I think the server's called. It's a Canadian server, but they speak French on it. So I went on there and I was using Google Translate to talk to people. My club owner accidentally kicked out the wrong member and didn't realize. Oh my gosh, hopefully the person who got kicked out, like, what am I, what am I doing in this race? One time I was going on a club trip around Greendale Forest. Where am- <laughs> Sorry, I'm so blind. We were in a Discord call with each other, and all of a sudden, one of the members said that they saw something in a tree. It was a player spying on us, so we went over to them and asked what they were doing, and then they started to try and mate with all of our horses. We started crying with laughter. There was a player in a tree. One time, me and my club were climbing mountains, and I fell down and went under the floor, and then I got stuck under the castle at Golden Hills Valley, and my club followed, and we all got stuck, and then all got network errors. You know, speaking of that castle, there was so much hype about that castle, and then nothing ever happened. I knew someone in my club that she got her account stuck in an area like they were climbing mountains and got her character stuck and they couldn't call for pickup but they were stuck on a mountain like when they called for pickup it said you cannot call for pickup here and then had to contact support to like get her character out and everything i'm in a club and me and my wifey made a family we have adopted two kids of uh, congrats i guess after an event, we went to my home stable and we all got drunk. And then let me guess, you guys all went into the wash stall and you clicked on the dance button and then danced in your shower? I bully everyone in the club. I don't know why they don't like me. I feel like this is a joke. Those are all the submissions that I have. Stay tuned for the next training time if you did not get your submission read. Say flowers to look for Violet blank 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 with us well i'm right here out in the open if you want to come find me <laughs> i'm right here or maybe i should go hunt for them let's turn the tables oh jeez. i hope you guys enjoyed this training time thanks for watching bye